Hello and welcome to my video on how to draw birds during the coronavirus lockdown. Uh, my name is Leslie Kent, I'm a teacher of biology but my big hobby is drawing and painting birds uh, and I was hoping that during the lockdown uh, people might be able to interact with the wildlife uh, around about their homes and maybe get to see it and enjoy it a bit more, maybe even draw it. And so I thought it would be a really good idea to try and teach people to draw the common wildlife that might be found around their homes. Uh, this, hopefully you recognise, is a house sparrow. This is a male house sparrow and uh, if you listen carefully during this video you'll hear them singing in the garden. Uh, I'm going to draw this one from memory but uh, if you've got birds in the garden of course uh, utilise them but if you're not up to drawing stuff straight from the wild then maybe I suggest you go onto the internet and get some pictures. But if you look out the window now, wherever you are in Britain, I really hope that you are getting to see some house sparrows. So, um, to draw a bird, very basic. First of all, draw an oval. Don't worry too much about whether your oval is, uh, is perfect. Mine's not, as you can see. Uh, and I'm using a hard pencil. This was a 4H because it gives softer lines because I'm really going to ignore most of these lines later on when I start to... Uh, add a bit more detail. And then I want you to add another oval um, and if you've done this correctly that second oval should be two or three times bigger than the first, certainly for a sparrow. And if you draw a backwards S in like so and almost put a triangle on the front you've got a bird shape straight away. Uh, and that's wonderful because it means you're already beginning to have to draw birds. With practice, and I've had plenty of practice, you can draw a bird probably uh, in about 20 seconds, but I'm going to try and spend a bit more time on it now. So for a house sparrow, you'll probably notice if you get the chance to see one, that on top of the house sparrow's head is this lovely upside down curvy heart. Uh, and you'll know you've got your house sparrow working, because if you produce a bill, it's a bit big, so I'll make it a little bit smaller. It looks a bit like a puffin's bill. Um, it's not, of course, it's much smaller and a completely different bird but by adding a curvy triangle, you've immediately got uh, a beak. Now for a house sparrow, a male, I'm going to add an eye that's actually bigger than it's supposed to. It makes it look even more like a puffin. I'm going to keep going back to the eye, but there we go, if we had a, a central eye, it actually looks a bit, uh, bit friendly, this one. So keep going back and changing a few details uh, all the way through the drawing. Um, there is a coloured neck on a house sparrow, it kind of extends backwards like so, and there's a white patch here, we'll come back to add the details in a minute. Now add an oval below your beak, uh, and you've now got the bird's bib, um, and now we can start to see hopefully the beginnings of a house sparrow. So I'm going to add some feathers on the outside, and really when I add feathering, um, I'm not after anything particularly accurate. It's lovely that people think that some of my pictures and paintings are so wonderfully accurate. No, they're not. Um, nobody's going to see the birds and I, I, I know that, so therefore it doesn't really matter too much um, if it's not perfect. Now, sparrows have got these lovely uh, elongated U shapes going down their bellies like so. Uh, and now all we need to do to make our sparrow work is to add three sections of wings. So I would suggest uh, one section, two section, three, all overlapping each other. Add a lovely great big long tail and then we just need one leg on top and a slightly different angle, another leg um, in front. Uh, toes, 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 toes. Now we've got our sketch all ready. It may not be perfect, but I'm not looking at a bird. Now I'm going to use a B pencil, B for black. Uh, I'm going to colour in my eye, uh, and I'm going to leave a tiny weeny little white speck in the eye because suddenly my bird has character. Um, and then I'm going to go across and finish my bill. So quite an angry looking bird is the house sparrow. Uh, they are quite uh, confident, they're quite aggressive with each other at times, and so at this time of the year, and what we hear as kind of lovely um, chink 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 noises in the background are generally them having a go at each other, uh, defending their territory. Uh, because they're quite chunky bills, um, make sure that you shade the bottom section. If you look carefully at them, uh, You'll, you'll see that kind of detail. Um, and I'm going to do the same for the lower mandible. Now, let's start making our sparrow look like a sparrow. So it needs quite a heavy brow. A uh, few scruffy lines here and there shows the feathering. Um, 
Actually, it does look a bit of an angry, angry sparrow, but if you've seen sparrows in the wild, you'll, you'll know that they can be quite angry. So I've got a shade to emphasize the, um, that forehead. Uh, now I'm going to start adding the eye. Now the eye on a sparrow um, is beautifully uh, hidden in an eye mask. Again, I don't think anybody's going to be able to check this particular sparrow out. So the detail, um, obviously if I was looking at a real bird, I'd be trying to copy it, uh, but I'm not. I'm doing this from memory. Uh, you may be lucky enough to be looking at the birds, but I can't get the camera in the right place to be able to do that. So already our bird is beginning to look quite sparrow-like. And all I'm doing now is I'm just adding emphasis on the coloured sections. If you're looking at a photograph on the internet, Google's full of them, um, you will notice the colours and you might want to add colour. Um, let's add our bib and notice how I, I'm not rubbing anything out. Some people absolutely love rubbers. I, I hate rubbers. I remember when I do my GCSE art, the art teachers then despised the word rubber. Uh, because they felt that uh, if it was a line worth drawing, then keep it uh, and just leave it there under the sketch uh, for future generations to discover, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but they were convinced that it was always an important idea to leave your sketches in place. And also it means that you can work quicker. Now, I've no idea how long I've been videoing uh, and if you're able to keep up with this, but I would consider this a slow sketch because by now, of course, my bird will be long gone. Um, but because I had the original sketch, and because I'd spent time watching the bird, uh, I was obviously able to get uh, enough detail. Scruffy down the bottom here, look, maybe put a bit of shading in to try and identify where the... Um, uh, where the feathering is at the bottom. This is a very puffed out one. Uh, a little bit of feathering from the chest there. And just the shapes of feathers, um, like so. I always shade pretty much in the direction of the feathers themselves. Uh, they've got some lovely white feathers below uh, and then I'm going to mark out no accuracy whatsoever in the way that I draw these back feathers because you know again nobody's going to um, check on these ever uh, and the overlap will lead to some shadowing on each set of feathers Finally, we're going to get down to these longer feathers at the bottom. Again, nobody but a professional would count these. Uh, if any of your friends do and tell you you've done the wrong thing, obviously you need new friends because well, that's just very unkind of them. And we add in the bottom end, long shadows like so. There's our tail. Now for our feet. Uh, I think I'm going to actually put this one at a slightly better angle. It needs to be further back than the, the back of the neck. Um, does anybody ever look at the detail of claws? Well, if they do, they'll notice they're actually curved right round, even in a little sparrow. Um, please note that most of what I'm drawing is just sticks. Uh, I think we've pretty much got a sparrow, commonest bird in Britain, drawn in just a couple of minutes. Let's give it something to stand on, a few lines downwards. So really makes it a piece of wood and uh, it might not be perfect, but I would suggest that we have sketched a sparrow. And the wonderful thing is, would have learned something about the structure of a bird and gone out and looked for something too. Of course, you can play about with this for detail. 
And if you could draw that, you could draw any bird there is because basically all birds, the same structures underneath, they're just squashed or squeezed. Oh, and don't forget, sign your work. If you want to see it, send it through to my website. You'll find details on the YouTube channel. And I hope you get to enjoy some birds during this strange time of the coronavirus. And that's how to draw a house barrier.